My name is Jimmy and this is what it looks like to study 100 hours in one week. Before we dive into it, let's do some quick calculations. Okay, so there are 24 hours in a day. Multiply that by seven, you have 168 hours in a week. Minus that by 100 hours of studying, you have 68 hours of break time total in a week. And then if you divide that by seven, you have nine hours and 45 minutes of break time daily. And if you sleep for seven hours, that gives you two hours and 45 minutes of break time that excludes sleep which means that 100 hours divided by seven is 14 hours and 15 minutes of studying time daily. All right, it is 11.55 on Sunday, May 24th. So starting on May 25th, on Monday until next Sunday for an entire week, I'm gonna try to do a 100 hour study slash work week. There's really no reason why I'm doing this other than the fact that I just feel generally motivated to push myself to study for as much as I can. I have a lot of research projects going on and I'm studying for the US board exam, so I kind of wanted to stay on top of those things. So I'll try to document throughout the day how I'm feeling mentally, physically, and how it's impacting my life in general. To be accountable, I'm gonna do a screen time report on my phone. So on Apple devices, it shows you what apps you've been using throughout the day. So if you see that I've been using like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube for three hours, four hours a day, you know that I'm straight up lying to you. If I'm gonna spend five minutes for break every like 30 minutes of studying, or a couple minutes setting up the camera to take a shot. I'm just gonna count it into my study time and not count it as a scheduled break time. So it's already 12 on Monday. I gotta get up at six tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see how this week goes. I'm curious myself. I'll see you guys soon. It is 11.30, feeling a little bit drowsy after lunch, sitting down and studying, so I decided to change my position, made myself a cup of coffee, and decided to study standing up. Okay, it is 2.50 on a Monday. I could take a nap right now, but David Goggins said, you gotta train your physical body to train your mind. So uh, I'm gonna go for a run, come back, shower, and get, re get ready to study again. All right, back from the run. Ran 4.33 kilometers. I'm using Strava for my running uh, diary. I have an MD Prospect running group. So if you search, if you download Strava and search MD Prospect running group, you'll be able to, running club, you'll be able to join my group. I have 30 minutes now of uh, free time. So I'm gonna quickly take a shower and take a nap or something. and welcome to our module on dermatomes and reflexes. All right, it's end of the day. Filming this during my YouTube time. Uh, share my, I'll share my calendar at the end of the week, but I'll be lying to you if I say that I'm not tired right now. I'm not physically tired, but I'm mentally drained from all the studying that I did today. So I took a total break time of two hours and 15 minutes today. I genuinely enjoy what I learn right now. So it's not something that's, you know, making me go insane. I know that I, if I had to study something that I don't like, I, I know that I can't do this, but because I'm doing something that I like, I can manage to pull this off. And I think I can do it for the rest of the week. It is Tuesday, 12.45 after lunch. I've been doing questions sitting down and lying down, but it was getting me drowsy. So I'm gonna go outside. It's beautiful outside, so I'm gonna take a walk and do these Anki questions while walking. That's the best thing about Anki is that you can do it while moving around. So I'm gonna get these questions done and then go for a run after. You know, studying for 100 hours doesn't mean that you have to sit at a desk for 100 hours. You can come outside, do questions, Anki questions outside. You can move around.
just finished my second run. It is 3.13. I'm just gonna quickly shower. I have extra 15 minutes. I would like to take a nap at this point, but I only have one hour break and I gotta use that for dinner time. So I uh, gotta get back to studying. Hi everyone, welcome to our module on spinal cord syndromes. So I took the extra 30 minutes today that was carried over from yesterday to take a nap. I was feeling really tired after dinner. So from now until 11.30, I just gotta put my head down and study. End of day two, it took three hours and 15 minutes of break time as opposed to two hours and 45 minutes, so 30 minutes extra. I feel fine. Like I don't feel mentally exhausted or physically exhausted. I feel better than yesterday to be honest. Uh, probably because of the 30 minute nap that I took. This 100 hour study week is honestly not bad. I thought it would be worse, but because I'm not standing doing surgery or seeing patients and all that, I, I just feel like I have more energy than I did when I was going through a clerkship. It is 6.34, I'm gonna film this quickly before I start my day. Do I feel tired and do I wanna stay in bed a little bit longer in the morning? Yes, but I turn on my phone and look at the calendar and look at what I have to do for the rest of the day. A little bit of anxiety kicks in and gets my heart rate going and I'm up. I would say that's still a healthy dose of anxiety. Um, so let's get started by reading cardiac surgery textbooks. Alright, I just got back from doing Anki and stairs. Sleeping only for four and a half hours last night was a big mistake. It's almost impossible to do any YouTube stuff while studying for 100 hours a week. But I'm gonna keep my mouth shut, put my head down, and fight through this. Hi, everybody, welcome to our module on cranial nerves. Of her loving me again. All right, end of day three. I took a 30 minute nap in the evening and that was probably the best decision I've made. The, the lack of energy that I have at the end of the day is completely replaced by a brand new day. I have full energy when I wake up. So um, although I'm feeling tired now, I know that I'll be back to normal tomorrow. I'm just working overtime right now, editing that study with me video and uploading it on YouTube. So I'll have that published by tomorrow. I do have to say that without Tasha, I probably won't be able to do this. She's here helping me uh, cook, clean, and organize things. So um, shout out to her. So far, so good. It's honestly not as bad as I thought. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is 7.30. I'm about to start my day. I made a mistake yesterday. Uh, I edited my study with me video, an hour long video, but then one of the songs got copyrighted and I couldn't upload that. So I had to go back and re-edit the whole thing and upload again, which took over two hours. So I ended up sleeping at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> I would say my energy level is at like 60% and I'm feeling a little bit groggy in the head, but with coffee, I know, I, I know I'll get back to normal. So. Um, just gotta put my head down and study again. Alright, it is 2 o'clock. Um, this morning was 60 to 70% productive. I just sat on the balcony, it was nice out, so I worked on the mitral valve paper. I have a meeting with the surgeon uh, regarding that paper tomorrow, so I have to finish that. So um, I've been working on it all morning. I also haven't eaten anything yet. All I had was a small shortbread and a cup of coffee. 
and it's 2 o'clock now so I'm gonna see if I can go to any of the local businesses here and support them and see if I can get food. Okay, it is 10 o'clock. I'm just gonna go back to studying right away here, but I wanna talk briefly about energy. Um, for the past two days, I got like five hours of sleep and four hours of sleep, so I've been running on really low energy, but I took a seven hour sleep last night and I'm feeling completely fine. Like, I would say like my physical energy is at 100%, my mental energy is at 100%. I've also been kind of eating healthy. I haven't been eating any junk food other than the four shortbreads I had over the course of the day yesterday. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water, tea, coffee, so a lot of fluids. And I've been trying to go out for runs every day. I've failed at that, but uh, I've been walking at least every day. So it, it cannot be understated how important keeping your physical body running well when you're studying for a long time. If you're eating junk food all the time, if you're, if you're not sleeping properly, if you're not exercising, of course, that's gonna impact your performance, your academic performance or your studying. So, um, so far, so good. Day five comes to an end. I am so exhausted, um, but I finished a 6,000 word paper, 20 pages long, a complete review on the mitral valve. I can't go into the details, but the sense of accomplishment is just almost euphoric. Going out for dinners with friends, or any social activity would be totally impossible with this schedule. Um, it's 100 hour study week, it's just, it's just not sustainable long term. So I tried doing the YouTube thing a couple days ago and it's, it's impossible. If you, do, if you do YouTube, you'll get less sleep. If you get less sleep, you can't exercise and it just spirals down into um, a dark hole. <laughs> I did notice that uh, <laughs> my relationship is taking a toll. I'm not spending, I'm basically spending like less than an hour with uh, Tasha. Also, if you're on the schedule, you can't run any errands. Like I have to change my car tires tomorrow, but I decided to just push back until next week because there's no way that I can waste time driving there and changing tires and all that. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting loud. All right, it's Saturday morning, it's a brand new day. I woke up feeling a little bit tired, but I took a hot shower and I'm feeling fine now. But I'm excited for the new day. Um, I finished that manuscript, so I have two more edits, three more manuscripts that I'm working on in terms of edits. So I'll be submitting all of those uh, pretty soon here. All right, I have the meeting with the surgeon now. I'll be back shortly. It is 8.30, I'm going to go for a run with Tasha and I'll be back soon. Just got back from a run. Join my Strava group. Uh, I have 
10 minutes to shower and get back to studying. That's literally what's running in my head. So let's shower and get clean. Alright, it is 10.30. Another day comes to an end. I have one more day to go. It's no joke, but I think I managed it pretty well so far. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bedroom right now and do some Anki questions until probably midnight and then uh, wake up early again tomorrow and get those revisions done and study for USMLE. It's hard to study for that because I have so much research projects going on but uh, I just gotta chip away at it slowly. It is Sunday midnight, heading into Monday. The 100 hour week is over. I'm so happy. I'm very much looking forward to the next few weeks where I'm just gonna take it down a notch a little bit. I'm also gonna break down everything, all the hours, all the minutes and everything shortly. So I hope you guys have a good night. Yeah. It makes me cool